What's up everyone, 610 Fisherman here. I'm doing a little something different today. I'm going to be bringing you a video of me making a mold of a Helgramite. Uh, just decided to do this because fishing has still been a little slow here in PA for me. I haven't really caught much, you know, a fish here, a fish there, no, nothing really quality, um, nothing film worthy. So videos haven't been coming, but um, I'm going to do a voiceover just because the audio quality of the, the video came out kind of shitty. All right, so we're going to start out here by making a mold box of the Helgramite. I'm not going to go over the exact details of how to make a mold box. You can do it many, many different ways. Um, I just took some melamine board using a hot glue gun to glue the perimeter to uh, contain the mold making material. So today we're going to be using a product called uh, Mold Star 20T, uh, made by Smooth On. Uh, really high quality products. Really recommend them. So essentially, there's your mold box, hot glued together, right around your your model. Next, we're gonna take some cheap Dixie cups, just make a mark on them. It's a two-part mix, equal parts by volume, so you don't need a scale or anything to weigh it out. There's part A, part B. Always mix in a new cup. Scrape the sides, get it all out of there. Again, two part mix, Mold Star 20T. All right, so you mix it up good. Make sure you scrape the sides, scrape the bottom. The first one I did actually came out soft because I, I didn't mix it totally. So make sure you mix it thorough if you're doing this. Bring back our model with our mold box. Pour it in. Pour it in one spot. Let it find its own level. Now you're going to let that dry for 45 minutes. Here I am demolding. Just cutting the hot glue, peeling the melamine board off. There's your mold. You go around the edges, clean up the edges with some scissors. Clean up your mold a little bit if you want with an X-Acto knife. If this mold, uh, if the model wasn't flat, You'd have to do like a two-part mold, but since the model was flat on the bottom, you're able to lay it flat on the melamine board. So 
So there, that my part is done. So I passed it off to my buddy. Check out his channel, PA Bassin. And here they're pouring the plastisol in the mold. Let that cool down, pull it out of the mold. And there you have your finished product. It's a pretty accurate representation of what we started with. Put it in the, the test tank here and see what it looks like in water. some decent action and just a couple pictures for you guys of my recent outings that I had nothing too special nice pickerel nice bass and me my dog and my kid loving the boat well folks there you have it that's how I went about making a mold. I am by no means an expert in mold making and casting. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping to hoping to get out and do some fishing here. Make some more videos and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm so close to 100 subscribers. When I hit 100, I'm going to do a giveaway um, just to kind of celebrate another milestone, I guess, on the channel. So keep hitting the thumbs up button. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram. You know, 610 fishermen um uh, so it's not nothing you know too serious but it's fun i like making videos that actually made fishing more interesting for me um i actually have more fun making the videos sometimes than i do actually fishing so that's always a good thing when the fish aren't biting but uh, until next time over and out